pressing it into the correct shape, uh, sanding it, preparing it, painting it, polishing it, getting it up to the appropriate standards. We're talking about a single layer of beach, that's the obvious thickness of that single layer. And as you can see by itself, it's a very flexible thing. But of course, what we're trying to do here is create stiffness in the enclosure of the loudspeaker. Uh, so to achieve that, what we do is A, use multiple layers, and B, use those layers in opposing grain orientations. So the outcome is a bit like an engineered wooden floor, in the sense that by building up those layers and opposing the grain structure, and with each additional layer that you add, the, the structure gets stiffer and stiffer. At this point here, what we have is the wrap form curvature coming out at the top in this particular case. So as you can see, if I invert it, you can see very clearly we've got that scalloping structure in shape. The next part of the process is to take this, to machine this away in the CNC, and to smooth that all out to create the part that can then be moved forward to become the top of the loudspeaker. So this is the matrix assembly uh, assembled. What it now requires is the metal components that brace it up at the front end to make sure we're maximizing the stiffness of the structure even more. And then what we can do is take this and slide it into the wrap form of the loudspeaker, which just requires a small tool called a spreader, which essentially grabs hold of the edges of the back of the loudspeaker and very, very slightly spreads it apart so that we can slide this inside. And then we can bond it all in place, close the loudspeaker cabinet back up, and we've got our complete structure. <laughs> So what we're working on now is the machine polishing part of the process. This is that final stage of cabinet preparation, getting it ready before it goes down to our line for final assembly. One of the skilled operators working up here will work on this using the very high quality polishing materials that you'd use in automotive detailing. And the work takes as long as it takes, so depending on the size of the loudspeaker is kind of the primary judge. On a cabinet of this size, it's about an hour and a quarter of polishing very intensively, obviously on all surfaces as well. So one of the things we're working on here is the paint application process to the turbine head. The turbine head is the structural component at the top of the 802 that houses our mid-range enclosure. So it's a single piece of aluminium, very, very heavy, very stiff, very high mass. Because of its complex shape and its curvature, it's very difficult to apply the consistency of paint finish that we want to it using a machine. So instead we use hand process. We use one of our highly skilled paint train guys uh, who works purely doing this and nothing else within the factory. <laughs> So the 802D3 is the second to top model in what we refer to as the 800 series diamond range. It ranges from £4,500 a pair for a two-way model, a stand mount design called the 805D3, all the way up to a very large flagship model called the 800D3, which is 22000 You have to bring in some new innovative ways to do things. Having the opportunity to play, as I think it's a, it's a lot about playing and going some new different ways. Innovation is one of the, um, the items that drive us because we want to satisfy our customer. We want to exceed their expectations. It's the process behind it that makes it to a unique product. We are aiming to do the, the best all the time. The main product that Echo does is uh, processed with DIP, direct injection. It's quite unique in the shoe industry. We're the world leaders in doing DIP shoes. DIP is a direct injection of PU. For the DIP, we can get some depth into this, we get the comfort, and we have this beautiful ending product, clean lines coming through the sides. It makes it different from everyone else where they do the stuck version. So what makes DIP great is the fact that we have an anatomic look to the bottom of the last. We take that into the DIP, and this means that it takes on every single curve and contour of your foot. So if you actually take any lap, you can feel, if you close your eyes and feel your feet, if you take our shoe, you will feel the same. That's the main uh, advantage of DIP process and the main advantage of Echo Bay of making it. But the DIP is so light and flexible, and everyone, whether you're a golfer, whether you're running, or whether you're just going to work, you want something which is light, which is strong, easy to wear, and looks good. The technology is, is a big part of our business. We just believe we, uh, we have no limits. People try to copy Echo, but you can't get them, because there is something special that we do on the process. It's also the quality we put on everything.